It's about a community called Highland Park becoming a united fellowship. <sighs> what the fuck? Hey there, Deidre. Jesus, TJ, you scared the shit out of me. What? That was quite the puff piece you did there on Frank Cooper. That was not a puff piece. Yeah, well, we don't like her. Unless you got footage of her smoking on a fucking crack pipe or something. Best you keep her off your show. You got that? It was nice talking to you. Oh, what was that? Some kind of threat? I'm taking a private jet to Berlin, then Milan, then Zurich, then who knows where. Congratulations. It didn't happen by accident. Sometimes you have to seize the opportunity. What the hell's that? Something that doesn't belong to me. That must be my taxi. See ya. You know you could have just moved in here, Phil. Is, is it too soon? <laughs> yes, it's way too soon for that. I mean, it's really sweet and all, but let's take this thing slow, huh? I get it. Hello? This is Lyle Cooper. Mr. Cooper, uh, what can I do for you? I want to contest Jasper's will, which I consider to be nothing less than a forgery and nothing more than an attempt by my daughter Debbie to defraud me out of my rightful inheritance. Do you have any proof of this claim? I'm not a man who makes idle threats. So why are you buying me a drink? Because I'm about to offer you a great deal of money. For what? Sex? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I stopped paying for sex years ago. No, I want you to help me get that house. I'll double what you're making now. Plus, every time you bat your eyes at me, your salary goes up. Maybe I should have another drink. Maybe you should. It's okay, I can drive you home. We'll get your car tomorrow. You're in shock, Debbie. That's why I gave you all those clonopins. You're looking at your own mortality. That's a big deal, Debbie, I know. What am I going to tell Mark? I wouldn't tell him anything yet. Why not? You have to ask yourself this question. Do you really want him to spend the next three months watching your brain deteriorate? You won't even know who he is. You'll basically be reduced to a raving mad woman. Do you really want to share that with him? I don't know what I want except a cigarette. I was gonna quit, but fuck it now, right? Hey, I just wanted to check in. I was worried about you. It's not safe for me. I almost had sex with you, Natalie. Do you know what that means? I almost broke a sacred promise I made to the woman I'm going to marry. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta go. She just got home. Well, you can't blame a girl for trying. Hi. Hey, Angel. Uh, how was your day? Anything exciting happen? No, just a normal, regular day. What's up? Going somewhere? Back to Denver. I did as you asked. I tried to get Mark into bed and he turned me down. Try again. He's in love with that girl, TJ. You probably don't know what that feels like. <laughs> yeah, well, I know what a punch in the mouth feels like. How'd you like to find out, huh? I have a gun in my bag and I'll show you where you stand. Fair enough. You have a nice flight now, huh? Smoked Gouda and cilantro. You're such a goddamn liar. You know what I'm talking about. I read your emails, Walter. From your lover, Stan. I went by his house today and met his boyfriend. You're a, you're a scumbag, lying cheater, and I'm fucking done with you. No, 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 Mike. No, 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 Mike. Please don't go. Please, 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 please. I'll die without you, I swear. I will kill myself. I will kill myself. Something painless. <laughs>